Ever wonder how to actually use AI tools like Photoshop to crank out thumbnails that absolutely demand a click? I'm about to walk you through a full workflow that perfectly mixes classic Photoshop techniques with the newest AI capabilities. And yes, I'll show you exactly how Vizard fits in to turn your long videos into ready to post clips, solving your content ideas forever. Welcome back folks. And I know this might feel a little different from my usual content, but stick with me on this one. One reason I'm sharing this is that I constantly get DMs from people offering to make my thumbnails, which is sweet but also hilarious. The second, more important reason is that if you make content or run any business, mastering Photoshop plus AI workflows is absolutely massive. This knowledge isn't just for thumbnails, it applies to web design, social assets, and creating any kind of digital branding. Today we are rebuilding a thumbnail just like the one that probably convinced you to click on this very video. The first technical step is locking in the standard YouTube canvas size, which is 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. Now, as a personal preference, I always put my face or primary subject on the right side of the final composition. This setup leaves the left area open for essential text or logos, which keeps the overall image feeling perfectly balanced. If you are filming yourself, utilizing a green screen, even a cheap one, will save you an incredible amount of editing time later. Anything that captures your subject with high contrast is great, like using a simple photo capture utility to snap a clean frame. Once you have your source photo, drag it into Photoshop and we can immediately begin the background removal process. The quick selection tool, shortcut W, and the select subject feature usually nails the initial selection with impressive accuracy. However, you must zoom in close to precisely touch up any tricky areas using the plus or minus selection modification tools. When you are satisfied with the selection, right click and use layer via copy to perfectly isolate your subject onto a new layer. <laughs> Next. Delete the original background layer completely so you are left with nothing but your transparent subject. It's often a good idea to flip the image horizontally if you want your subject to look inward toward the main text area. If the edges still show a little bit of that green screen spill, grab the eraser tool, E, and gently polish those borders. Remember to adjust the hardness and size of the brush, aiming for a light feathering rather than a heavy-handed scrape. For minor fixes like small skin blemishes or logos on your shirt, the spot healing brush tool, J, is your best friend. Think of this as magazine retouching. The goal is simply removing distractions that pull focus away from your main message. If the healing brush leaves a slightly rough look, a tiny bit of cloning or a final erase pass will smooth everything out nicely. Now it's time to make your subject truly pop off the background by opening the blending options panel. A drop shadow adds subtle depth, but keep that opacity low and angle it to match your assumed primary light source. My secret weapon for thumbnails is the outer glow, which creates essential separation when you have a dark or busy background. The stroke outline is totally optional, but you must use it very sparingly because too thick of an edge looks instantly amateur. Next up is the AI magic. Photoshop's generative fill is incredibly powerful for extending imagery or filling in awkward gaps. You simply make a selection, create a new blank layer above your subject, and let the AI generate highly plausible content there. It might not be perfect every single time, so be prepared to mask or erase any strange areas the AI might have created. This feature is a lifesaver when a screenshot or a perfect frame crop leaves you with awkward, empty edges to deal with. Now, let's talk about where Vizard comes in, because most creators overlook how crucial good source clips are for thumbnail inspiration. You can waste hours hunting for that one fleeting frame that has the exact right facial expression or critical moment captured. Vizard completely automates the search by processing your long video and pulling out all the genuinely viral worthy segments automatically. You receive a batch of short clips where the best potential thumbnail frames are already clearly highlighted for you. Instead of blindly guessing which second holds the key, Vizard hands you the moments proven to perform best with audiences. The process is simple. Run your long video through Vizard to surface the absolute top performing clips immediately. Then you skim those auto edits, select a clip with a strong reaction, and pause on the perfect frame to export as your base image. That single exported frame then jumps straight into Photoshop and that's when you build out the professionally polished look. This means you're starting with a great subject, then adding your clean background, the essential glows, shadows, and logo placement. Speaking of logos, I always place a small Photoshop created logo or product mark to clearly signal the video's specific topic. If you pull a screenshot or an exported clip that happens to be low resolution, don't panic because upscalers can help significantly. I often upscale any background elements or logos before compositing them, then use a mask to integrate them perfectly. Pro tip, when grabbing UI screenshots or product images, try to capture them at native resolution whenever physically possible. If you must up res, isolate the logo graphic, remove any surrounding halo, and use color overlay to match your thumbnail's palette size. This simple color matching trick is fantastic for making lower quality assets feel completely cohesive with your final design. When it comes to the text overlay, remember that short hook words are infinitely more impactful than long, complete sentences. The winning formula is essentially one powerful image paired with just one or two incredibly punchy words to create maximum resonance. If you do add text, always opt for bold, clean, sans serif fonts. Use a high contrast stroke and a very subtle drop shadow. Crucially, avoid the trap of overcrowding the design as too many elements fight for the viewer's immediate attention. Compare this focused approach to using template-only tools like Canva, which often result in thumbnails that look identical to others. 
Canva is fast for beginners, but you inherently sacrifice a unique branded look for that rapid templated speed. Conversely, the manual Photoshop plus smart AI combination gives you unparalleled creative control to craft something truly unique. Meanwhile, Vizard does the heavy lifting for content discovery, something Canva simply cannot do with your long form source material. Canva won't automatically find your best viral clip moments buried inside a 40 minute video podcast, for example. Think about the, the grinding manual editor work. Paying someone to comb through footage and export clips is both expensive and agonizingly slow. Vizard eliminates that entirely by auto editing to find the viral parts and immediately producing those short, ready to share clips. This efficiency matters immensely when you are trying to repurpose that content across TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts simultaneously. The auto schedule feature is another massive time saver, letting you set a posting frequency without manually queuing every single upload. It creates the difference between sporadic content bursts and running a consistent, reliable content production engine. And having the content calendar in one place, clips, captions, and schedule, makes maintaining that posting rhythm manageable. Returning to the thumbnail, once your Photoshop composition is perfect, resize and review it at about 10% zoom. Thumbnails absolutely must be readable when they are small, so adjust contrast and sharpen key facial features slightly. Now, for a reality check, is using Photoshop absolutely necessary for every single thumbnail you ever make? Not always. But for creators demanding a signature style and precise control over every single pixel, Photoshop plus AI plugins is unbeatable. If you prefer a pure drag and drop approach, tools like Canva are fine, but you are actively trading uniqueness for pure speed. And if you skip Vizard, you're still stuck manually sifting through hours of footage just to find those crucial short clips. My final recommended workflow is this. First, let Vizard auto edit your long video to surface all the best performance clips. Second, pick that strongest clip, export a frame to use as your hero image, or use the clip as the base for a motion thumbnail. Third, take that frame into Photoshop to remove the background, add the glow, the shadow, and finalize your unique brand elements. Fourth, use Vizard's content calendar and auto schedule to push that final clip and thumbnail across every platform automatically. This powerful combination keeps your output fast while ensuring every single asset remains polished and perfectly aligned with your brand. You are expertly leveraging AI for the heavy lifting, like finding moments and filling gaps, and human judgment for the crucial creative choices. That perfect synthesis of speed and precision is truly the sweet spot for modern content creators who want to scale effectively. So that's the thumbnail build in the entire content loop summarized in one comprehensive breakdown. If you are making videos but constantly struggling to achieve consistent posting, this wizard and Photoshop knowledge will change your output. It's not just marketing fluff, it's practical knowledge that gives you auto-editing, a scheduling engine, and built-in organization. Meanwhile, Photoshop gives you the final layer of speed and precision needed to craft thumbnails that genuinely capture attention. If you are curious, go run just one long video through Vizard, grab three clips, and make three test thumbnails using these exact tricks. I promise you will learn more about what works from that small test than you would from a month of just aimlessly guessing. And that is it. The thumbnail is officially created and you have the entire ecosystem to support its success. If you usually follow my AI content, don't worry, I'm not permanently switching lanes. This was just a highly useful one-off workflow. If you want a deep dive on using Vizard for high volume batch editing and scheduling, drop a comment and let me know your biggest pain point. I will absolutely plan a detailed video on that advanced functionality, so keep an eye out for the next upload. Thank you for sticking around for this deep dive. Catch you all in the next video where we keep creating smarter, not just harder.